Hello there, peasants, and welcome to... Welcome to... Mods of Skyrim! And today's mod is Unique Uniques. Indubitably Unique Uniques. Imagine what the hell is a Unique Unique, I imagine you're wondering. Well, Unique Uniques. The Uniques refers to the unique weapons which you can get in Skyrim. And this basically means that, basically, Insanity Sorrow, the legend that is, Insanity Sorrow, has decided to put all of his mods together. Now, he's the chap that does a lot of high-definition retextures of the unique weapons in Skyrim. And he is ba basically now making them unique. So they look different. They don't just look like any other crap that you can get on the game. So basically what we're going to do, we're going to have a look at the before and the after versions. Now, there are... How many are there? There's there's six, basically. More or less, there's six he's done at the moment. He's done the Pale Blade, Dragon Bane, Red Eagle's Fury, and Bane. Um, I don't know, Cavozine's Fang or something like that, and Oathblade, and Bolas Oathblade. Now, I have done the Pale Blade before. I did do that as a mod review back in the day. But we're going to see what they look like. So, without further ado, let us begin. So, first things first, we kick off with whatever that is Cavozine's Fang, which originally starts off looking a little bit like one of the Dragon Priest daggers. I personally really like the Dragon Priest daggers. I think they're probably one of the better looking items in the game. But Insanity doesn't like it, and he decided to change it to this. To this rather spectacularly lovely looking sort of shank, sort of kunai, sort of dealy looking like thing. Nice and different, actually. I quite like how the wavy blade and, you know, the, uh, the better sort of looking. Uh, handle of it looks much nicer. It just looks better. It looks like it belongs as an old-fashioned style dagger Because it's not a dragon priest dagger. It just looks right because it looks different Moving on we now have Bolar's oath blade now I did a video on this it was a very popular video on this actually of this blade now this basically is a Katana of some sort you can find it in some sort of uh, Cave somewhere. I can't remember where it is, but it is Bolar's oath blade and I particularly quite like Bolar's oath blade. I think it's a nice looking blade. We like it very much. However, once again, Insanity changes it to look a little bit different. Now, this version is actually a straight blade, it's not curved, and it has a dragon's head on the end of it, and it looks spiffing. A couple of changes in the colours of it as well, you've got a, it's a lighter shade, it's no longer as dark as it used to be, and like I said, it also has a straight blade. Now, there is some rune and runic inscription on the blade as well, which looks very, very nice, and it's very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice indeed, I like it, I like Bolar's oath blade, I've always liked that sword, it's a pretty awesome looking sword. Now, Dragonbane. Another one of the katana looking items. Excuse me. <coughs> oh God. You can find this in the Blades Temple. Can't remember the name of it, but that's where it is. It's in one of the rooms on the side. It's on a table. You, you nick it and off, off you go. Looks quite nice. Quite like the look of this blade. Always like this blade. It is a decent sword as well. Has some good little effects you can do there. But once again, Santi didn't like it. No, 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 he did not. So we decided to change it to this. Now, looks very, very similar, just a high-definition version of it. And, of course, he's, he's changed the, uh, the Tsuba, as it's also known as, which is the little hand guardy thing, if you're referring to Japanese style to make it a little bit more pointy and a little more awesome. He's also added what looks to be like a dragon's tooth or claw on the end of the, uh, of the handle, which looks very nice. And all in all, a better-looking handle and a better-looking blade as well. He's done a good job with these ones so far. What does he move on to now? He moves on to Red Eagle's Bane. They're possibly the most boring, these last three are the most boring looking swords in the whole entire game. Because they are just all the same. All of these old Nordic things are all the same, pretty much. This has just got a blue tint to it. However, he comes along and changes it to looking a little bit more like a scimitar sort of thing. Looks much nicer and has a nice blue glowing runic thingy-majig. Uh, inscription on the blade. Now, the Red Eagle's Fury is pretty much exactly the same, just slightly different. Note the colour of this sword is slightly silvery, slightly bluish. Okay, obviously the blue from the from the inscription, from the enchanting, but it's bluer than the next one. Now, you've got Red Eagle's Fury, once again, has a red sort of magical effect to it, and is pretty much exactly the same as the previous one. Boring! We don't like boring! Boring Bethesda, and they're boring shortcuts. That's what they are. This is why we love modders like Insanity. I, I love Insanity. Insanity, I love you, man. You're awesome. Anyway, moving on to Insanity's version, which is a lot redder. As you can see, that it looks, I don't know, more like a brassy sort of rustic look, if you like, for Red Eagle's Fury. I can't remember which order they come in. I'm pretty sure it goes Fury, then Bane. I'm not really sure. Could be the other way around. I have no idea. I hate the Red Eagle's quest. It annoys the hell out of me. And the final one is, of course, the Pale Blade. Once again, looking like boring Nordic crap that we don't care about. Boo hiss boo, get off, we don't like you. We don't like you at all. 
as much as I, they, they look okay, it's just they use it too much in the game. The sword itself is a very good looking sword, it just looks the same and there's too many of them in the game. But once again, Mr. Insanity comes along and changes it to this one. Spectacular, it's even got a lovely lady, pretty lady on the handle. So there you have it goes, goes, guys, there is your mod for today, the Pale Blade, Insanity's Unique Uniques. I hope you enjoy this, please go and download it, the link is in the description below, give me an endorsement and a good old thumbs up from me. Anyway guys, I've been there for well, I will see you when I see you, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye!